Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Lisa. So today's practice is going to be a short but effective way to let go. The theme today is to let go. I know in the world it's been quite a time uh, for those of you who maybe watch the news or read a lot of things online. A lot of sadness, a lot of devastation, a lot of challenging events, tragic events, you know, can really take a toll on all of us mentally, emotionally, and then can manifest, you know, even physically. So today I just want us to come together to connect to our breath and quiet and soften that monkey mind and really feel the yoga practice help you to let go, not only Physically, we're going to let go of tension that builds up within the body, but I'd like you to also feel that release in the mind, right? And then also in your heart space, uh, our spirit. So think let go today throughout our practice as we connect to our breath and we move on our mats with fluidity, with the breath, and I really believe and know that the yoga practice will help you to let go. So, okay, so come together, sitting comfortably in Sukhasana at our mat. No props are required for class today, but go ahead and grab your blocks if those, if you use them in your normal practice or any blankets, pillows, anything that helps you feel more comfortable in your yoga practice today. Okay, so let's begin in Sukhasana. Easy seat, hands on your knees, a slight dip in your chin, and go ahead and close the eyes. And just come together here with yourself. Just sit with yourself. Take a deep breath in, and let an easy exhale come out of the mouth. So you drop the shoulders, but keep that spine nice and tall. Two more like that big, deep inhale. Easy exhale. Relax the jaw. Soften the skin on your face. One more big breath in. Big breath out. Bring your palms together into Anjali Mudra. Touch your thumbs right to your heartbeat. And I always like to offer a moment for you to set your own intention, your own sankalpa for your practice as we sit and connect to our breath. And I offer the mantra today for all of us. I let go. So breathing in. Keeping the lips softly closed now, feel the breath drifting in through the nose. And feel the breath drifting out of the nose if you, as you seal your mantra, your dedication, your prayer, right into your heartbeat. One more deep inhale. Deep exhale through the nose. Let it be even slower. Let's do one more like that. Inhale. And exhale. Good, and then softly blink the eyes open. As we circle, sweep the arms down around and up. Big inhale. Arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, hands right to our heartbeat. Just doing that two more times. Opening up, inhale. Exhale, gather everything up positive. Pull it into your heart. One more. Deep inhale, reach and expand. And exhale, right into your heartbeat. 
Good. And now we're going to come into tabletop. So bring your shoulders over your wrists, hips over the knees. Good. Just a couple dancing lion circles here. So circle your, hip, circle your hips to the right, forward and to the left and back. Drop the head. Just allow yourself to move organically here. Press the earth away. Get into the lower back. Just breathing really big and full the whole time. Stay connected to that breath. As you think, I let go. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good circle the other way. So switch that direction. Maybe close the eyes here. Shake your head yes and no. Press into your finger pads, shins, tops of the feet. Get into the back of the body. Breathing in. And breathing out. Good. Come back to center. Open up the knees wide. Toes touch. Come back to balasana. A few breaths here. But I want you to keep your arms activated so that elbows are lifted. Reach forward with the arms, finger pads pressing into the earth. Take a big inhale right into the back of the lungs. On your exhale, energetically slide that tailbone even further towards your heels. Feel that nice lower back stretch as you let go. Good. Breathing big. One more big inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Lift your gaze. Look forward. Pull yourself up. Right away, tuck your toes. Squeeze your belly. Lift your hips. Find that downward facing dog. Pedal your feet, sway your hips. I always like to move organically in Adho Mukha Svanasana. Shake your head no, I will not skip yoga. And shake your head yes, I can let go now. And good, breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. Go ahead and walk your hands and your feet in the center of your mat. Good. Open up your feet a little wider than your hips. Bend your knees. Press the earth away as we round and curl. Stack the vertebra nice and slow. Maybe a little sway on the way up here. Good. Inhale. Circle sweep. Good, and then exhale, swan dive, spill over your legs. Again, ground down through the feet, round and curl up. Squeeze your lower belly in. Find a sway, left and right. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good, inhale, circle sweep, reach. One more, exhale, spill over your legs. Good. Bring the feet hip width apart, so just a step a little bit closer. I'm going to add on here, so round and curl it up. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Nice and slow. Should feel really yummy. And then inhale, circle, sweep the arms up. On your exhale, this time bend your knees as you Face your palms towards the ground and then sweep them back towards your hips, letting go. And then inhale, gather everything up positive. And then exhale, bend your knees, sink your hips, sweep it away. Inhale, rise and lift. See if you can stay light on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, sweep it away. Inhale, gather everything up positive. Visualize white light. Exhale, sweep away all the tension, anything that no longer serves you. Inhale, 
lift and reach. So building some strength in our legs too. Exhale, release. I find that moving slower, gracefully with fluidity is a little more challenging. Reach, exhale, bend and sweep. Two more, you're doing great. Inhale. Reach, grow tall, exhale. Should feel a little heat in those legs. Inhale, reach. We're going to add on this time. Exhale, bend your knees, sweep your arms back. Clasp your fingers or grab opposite elbows. Good, and spill over your legs. Knuckles up towards the sky. Shoulders away from the ears. Shake your head yes and no. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Look to your left. Look to your right. Awesome. And then come back to center. Release your hands. Plant your palms. Step back, downward facing dog. Good. Beautiful. Breathe, 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 breathe. Three full breaths in your downward facing dog. Exhale out of the mouth. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Bring your feet together. On an inhale, lift your right leg up high to the sky. Maybe bend your knees, stack your hips if that feels good. Good. And then inhale, straighten the leg. On your exhale, look forward. Gracefully, mindfully, carefully step that foot forward. Good. Separate your feet just a little bit. Find stability here. And then inhale. Circle, sweep the arms. High lunge. Reach up. And exhale, soften. Good. Inhale, straighten both legs. Reach up towards the sky. Exhale. High crescent lunge. You got it. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Last one. Inhale. Reach up. Everything straightens. On your exhale, look forward. Bring your fingertips in front of that right foot. Pick up the left leg. A supported warrior three. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Find your balance here. Level the hips. Good. Take one more big breath in. Exhale. Walk it in. Forward fold. Standing split wherever you are. So you can bend that back leg. Letting go. So the top of the head is towards the earth. Good. It's a balance challenge, so maybe you can grab the back of your ankle with your right palm. Good. Breathe, 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 breathe. Spill out everything into the earth. All that tension. All the old stories. Everything that's built up. One more big breath in wherever you are. And then exhale. Soften back into the lunge. Touch your left toes down. Good. Find balance here. Find your low lunge. Breathe, breathe, breathe. A little sway. Good. One more big breath in. Exhale. Plant your palms. Step back. Downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. You got this. Breathe. Sway your hips. Move around in your downward dog. Shake your head yes and no. Three full breaths. Exhale it out. And big breath in. And big breath out. And big breath in. 
And big breath out. Good. Feet together. Other side. Inhale. Lift that left leg up high to the sky. Bend the knee and stack your hips if that's available for you. Good. Inhale. Straighten the leg. On your exhale, use your belly. Bring the knee forward. Look forward. Step it on through. Good. So maybe separate the feet. Widen your stance. Helps with stability. And then inhale. Circle sweep. Woo. Arms down, around, and up. High lunge. Good. On the inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, high crescent lunge, bending back into the front knee. Inhale, lift. So really feel your breath on the exhale, soften. Dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, reach. And exhale, soften. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Look forward. Think about that warrior three. Good. Reach in front of the left foot. Fingertips touch. Good. Press into the left foot. Pick up the right leg. Maybe walk your fingertips forward. So if you look behind you and you look at your right foot, your toes are down towards the earth. Inner thighs spiraling in. Hips are level. Good. So prepare for that standing split. We're squeezing our core. Big breath in. Big breath out. Walk it on in towards your standing leg. Maybe bend your right leg. Maybe bend both knees. So it's your practice. It's your journey. I'm just your guide. Do what feels right for you here. Big breath in. On the exhale, you might feel yourself coming a little closer to the standing leg. Maybe you can reach and with the left hand, grab your ankle, your shin. Visualize everything spilling out of the top of the head. I let go. Beautiful. And then walk your hands forward. Come back onto your fingertips. Soften back into the left knee as we slowly bring those right toes down. Good. Take your time. Find your low lunge. Breathe, breathe, breathe here. We've built some heat up, burning away all that tension and stress. Awesome. Big breath in. Big breath out. Plant your hands. Step it back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Awesome. Beautiful job. Sway your hips. Enjoy three full breaths in your downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Like we started, walk your hands, your feet in towards one another. Good. Round and curl. We know this. Press the earth away. Find that sway. Head and neck come up last. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms. Good. This time, exhale. Bring your hands behind you. Find that clasp. Or we're grabbing opposite elbows. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, fold. Spill over your legs. Knuckles up towards the sky. Shoulders away from the ears. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I let go. 
And good, release your hands. Good, and this time nothing fancy. Slowly bring down the right knee. Slowly bring down the left knee. Good, hips go back to the heels. Letting all of that go. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms down, around, and up. Palms touch, exhale, hands right to our heartbeat. Close the eyes, dip the chin. Deep breath in. Big breath out. Just feeling all the sensations within and around you. And just another breath here. Feel the heat we've created. The energy we've released. And then slowly open your eyes. And let's make our way down onto our back. So this is where you can maybe grab a pillow for your head or a bolster under the knees. Good. Bring yourself all the way down. Bring those knees into your chest. Good. And rock and roll. Massage your back. Apanasana. Let the feet dangle. Good. Come back to center. We're going to take a happy baby here. So take your two-piece fingers, grab your yogi toes, or if it's available, the outer edges of your feet. Bring the soles of your feet up towards the sky. Take a big inhale. On your exhale, let the knees descend towards the earth as you feel the whole lower back, the kidneys, grounded on the earth. And this should feel really nice here. Big hip opener, big release. Rock your baby if it feels nice. Maybe close the eyes here. And breathe. One more full breath. And exhale, good. Bend your knees, bring the soles of the feet together. Let your hands catch the ankles or your shins. Squeeze your belly, lift your shoulders, your head. We're looking at our feet. And see if you can press the feet together, point them towards the earth, maybe they'll even touch. Tuck your chin into your chest and enjoy this nice trapezius muscle stretch. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then exhale, I let go, release. Supta Baddha Konasana, recline butterfly. Left palm over your heart, right palm over your belly. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. I let go, and then slowly slide that left leg down. Slide your right leg down. Relax the feet, get any wiggles out. Move your shoulders away from your ears, relax your arms down at your side, a little bit away from the body, and let's enjoy our final resting pose, a full Shavasana. where we really learn to let go. We learn the art of stillness. So let go of any controlled breathing pattern. Relax every muscle in your face.
Feel the body supported on the earth. Every muscle soften. Everything calm. Whole body at peace. The clarity in the mind. The spaciousness within and around you. And allow the practice to be integrated here in your mind, in your body, in your spirit. I invite you to stay here for as long as your soul is asking. Yogis, if you're waking up with me, bring some subtle movement into your fingers, your toes. Bend one knee at a time and plant your feet on the earth. Take a big breath in. And exhale. Slowly roll your body to the right. Bring your knees into your chest. Take a deep inhale. And an easy exhale. Just feel a moment of gratitude to yourself for making it to the mat today. to help yourself let go. And then when you're ready, you can stay right where you are or come up to Sukhasana easy seat just like we started and we'll close our practice together. Sit nice and tall through the spine. Rest your hands on your legs and take a deep inhale. Feel the spine lengthen and exhale. Just enjoy this peace for a few more moments. As I read a, a message today, I picked from my own card deck, Sprinkles of Spirit. And the card I picked today says, look at the shadow side. I explore the parts of myself that come from a place of fear, anger, regret, or shame, and reflect on the lessons they have taught me. So how perfect for our theme of letting go. Maybe that's something this week you can reflect on the parts of you that are coming from a place of fear, how can you let them go? Bring your hands together right at your heartbeat. Dip the chin. Close the eyes. 
Take a deep inhale. And a big exhale. I thank you so much for trusting me to guide your practice today. I hope you will come and join me again here for yoga. Om Shanti, Om Shanti, peace. Peace, peace, peace be with you always. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.